Hi, this is Max with PhoenixHomes.com and this is video part number one and I'm going to uh, show you how to set up Flex MLS IDX plugin for the agents outside of the state of Arizona. First of all, let me mention you have to be Flex MLS member and you have to have an IDX service which you have to pay for separately within the Flex MLS. So if you have all of that, then you'll set. Now, first of all, you need to create an IDX link, which you can do it from your FlexMLS account under Preferences and IDX. When you're creating a link, this is the base link. And, for example, if I go to mine, so let me close this, you can see this is the search. These are all the listings in the area. And as you can see, none of the uh, uh, preferences or um, criteria is preset beside the status because it's required there's nothing you can do about that but in some cases like if I go to this IDX uh, you can see property type is preset our plugin will not be able to change this presets so when person selects uh, in something like residential two bedrooms two baths and with the price range it's not gonna change this particular setting where the uh, property type already selected. So make your initial URL for the IDX with no presets. Uh, here's another example also has presets for the property type. So again no presets. Now uh, there is a difference I talked to the Flex MLS guys and there is a difference between from state to state for example uh, in our state our city field is called city in other states they use uh, a field called area uh, I don't know is it here no it's city here like for example this one this example there is an area instead of the city and there is no city uh, again make sure the names the fields that you're using uh, in the uh, widget in the plugin they also they also exist in your uh, IDX URL so, for example, you do have a city and you do want to use city instead of area. Make sure the city field is available here in the, in the criteria for your IDX. Uh, let's go to the advanced tab here at the top. This is where we'll be able to change our city name, uh, field names. If you scroll to the bottom to the FlexMOS field names, you can change the city to area and property type to whatever the field name you have in your IDX. In our IDX, we have dwelling type. And as you can see, you can use this exact name with no space, but uh, preserve the capitalization. And this is, it goes here. Now, how do we get this property type field values? Well, the names that we have in this window are actually just labels. We need to actually get the values which we have here. SFPH, which stands for single family and patio homes. TH stands for townhouses. AF, apartment, uh, uh, what it stands for. How to get those values? I click on see all, and then you can use Firefox uh, and you can use a uh, firebug for Firefox or you can use Google Chrome and simply press Control shift J then click this little icon and this one now we can select elements we're gonna select this checkbox if you click on the checkbox it gives you input field with the value SF so that's the value for this field again we select this icon and click on this and it gives us AF apartment flat style we can do uh, exactly this, the same thing uh, for this field and click on patio homes as you can see it says label patio homes and value pH so this is where we get those values now let me stop this video because I'm running out of time and I'll do a video number two Thank you for your attention.